My name is Chris. And I'm Lucas. And we're the Catamount Motor Club. Today we're going to be installing the HPS Performance Silicone Radiator Hose Kit for this BMW. All right. So this is my 95 BMW M3. I picked it up as a project car a little over a year ago. Uh, been doing a lot of work on it and now hopefully this will be one of the last things I have to do before it starts running like a top. So the great thing about this kit is that it's so easy to install. Uh, we decided that it would be better to take off the front bumper, uh, hence the reason there's no lights on it at the moment, uh, so that you guys will be able to see kind of what we're doing in here a little bit better. So we're going to get to that first. And this is by no means necessary for your install. This is just for your purposes to be able to view it. Well, the first step is going to be to jack the car up and definitely put the car on jack stands because you don't want to be working under the car on the hydraulic jack it's just even if it hasn't happened to you it could fall so you just want safety first Okay. so after getting the car jacked up the second step that we have to do is drain the coolant because the last thing you want to do is start messing with these hoses up here and have coolant just spill everywhere you want to at least try to catch some of it maybe reuse it if you can so the first step is you want to get your car nice and warm you want to go drive around open up that thermostat get it up to temp but since then it's going to be kind of hot, what you are going to want to do is relieve the pressure from the system with this bleeder valve right here. So slowly undo the bleeder valve until all the air comes out. And be careful because if you take it all the way out, coolant might be pressurized and shoot out and that can burn you. So now that we're under the car, we've got this bleeder screw right up here. And just for reference, that is a 19 mil. Um, and then you'll want to go ahead and put a wrench on it uh, and just slowly take that out. Uh, be careful, of course, not to strip out the screw or the block. Um, and then be careful of the coolant that's going to be coming out from the engine. Then your next bleeder screw is going to be at the bottom of the radiator. It's going to be situated right here. And just like before, we've also drained this already. So we aren't going to have to do that on film. So now that we've gotten all of those bleeder bolts uh, taken out and all the coolant drained off, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back into the engine bay and we're going to start removing some of those hose clamps that are holding on our coolant hoses. Uh, now because this car has been used and your car most likely has too, uh, some of the bolt sizes vary for those hose clamps, so we're just going to be using a flathead for this. Alright, so after undoing the hose clamps, the next step obviously is to remove the hoses themselves. On the lower hose over here, there's going to be a coolant level sensor at the bottom of your reservoir tank, which just needs to be quickly unplugged to gain some access to this hose. Alright, so now that we have these hoses off, you can really see the difference between these terrible rubber hoses that came from BMW and the nice high quality silicone hoses that HPS has sent us. So this is the upper hose so you can clearly see the quality difference and what has happened over time to the rubber hoses from all the pressure that it's under. They have flared out at the ends which doesn't create a very good seal. These silicone ones won't do that. They're constructed to be a lot more durable than that and we probably shouldn't run into any problems like that. And as we mentioned before, the hose clamps that I had, the thermostat housing had been done on this car prior to me getting it, so all of these hose clamps are different, which is terrible. HPS has sent standard uniform hose clamps that are still great quality, and they're a 7mm head, so if you have an extension on a ratchet with a 7mm, you can actually access these a lot easier and get them a lot tighter than with a flathead screw. So now we have our brand new hoses over here. We also have our extensions, and then we've also got a seven millimeter socket so that we can get to those hose clamps.
it's a pretty quick and easy job. Um, we did run into a little bit of an issue with this right side, trying to get the hose on to the thermostat. Um, however, uh, the reason for that is due to the much tighter tolerances that HPS uses than the factory, uh, so that it can actually hold some of the pressure that you'll be seeing under uh, you know, spirited driving or racing conditions. Uh, so it was really nice to see that they made sure that all the hoses would fit in nice and tight. Uh, you didn't have any kind of play once they were on. Um, and we didn't have any issues with one side being too long or anything like that, and that was really, really nice to see. Uh, honestly, the only thing I think we ran into a little bit of problem with would be, again, as Chris said, on this side over here, just because if you leave the coolant reservoir and all of this stuff still here, there's really not a lot of room to play with when you're trying to get these hoses seated. So, luckily, I had Chris with me because my hands didn't really fit down in there all that well. Um, which is why I had him help me over on this side. But outside of that, it was a quick, like he said, pretty quick and painless install. So I'm definitely happy with the product, and uh, I think we can get some shots of how much better they look. Well, not entirely painless, right? Yeah, not entirely painless. <laughs> Guys, get a couple of nicks. <laughs> definitely. But uh, anyways, uh, that's pretty much the end of this video. Uh, we want to thank you guys for watching. And make sure to hit that subscribe and like button down below. If you like what we make uh, and you want to check out some of our other videos, please check out our channel. Uh, we've got some really great stuff on there as well. Uh, also, worth a mention, we have another video that we've done for HPS, uh, which you can find down in the link in the description. Uh, so, other than that, I think that's going to wrap this up. So, thanks for watching. Thank you.